tomorrow's new comic book day. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. What are you guys picking up tomorrow? McClay. I mean, I'm going to go with Andy first. We always go with McClay. Yeah. yeah. Oof. Reverse. You guys know I pretty much pick up everything in Star Wars uh, as I'm enjoying reading a lot of that and having a pretty decent reading pile for Star Wars. But two, I'm going to pick two. Oh, my God. Blast from the past. Farmhand is back. What is this? A year, year and a half break? I don't know. It's been so long. I can't even remember. I'm excited to get back into the world of Farmhand. This has been a fun read. And I'm going to have to reread the first 15 to figure out what the hell happened. Because He's been doing some chew homages for this, too. I don't know if they're the actual covers, or but his Facebook page. There you go. Yeah, the one on the right. You got a little chew homage. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes, please. I don't know if we'll find it tomorrow. Also, but... one of the coolest and nicest guys in comics with Rob Gilroy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'll be looking forward to reading that tomorrow. I'm trying to get caught back up so that I can read that. But um, what's coming back, or not coming back, which is coming to a close, actually, if I can find it fast enough, is Last Flight Out. This is the yeah. last issue for Guggenheim here. And I'm really curious to see how they're going to cram it right in the cram hole, right at the yeah, tail and fit cram hole. everything. A lot of pacing. There's a lot to jam in here based on the, there. They took a little sidestep in this trip that I wasn't expecting an issue at the end of issue four, or beginning of five or something like that. I'm like, I got a lot of ground to catch up to finish this story. I'm hoping it finishes strong. It's been a really fun read. I almost wish they would have went to like a maxi series, like a 12 issue deal, but maybe we'll get a volume two. Maybe. Better hope so. That's my, that's my two. That's my two where there's you guys are already going to pick and pull and check out a lot of the stuff. By the way, Brian, if you pull up the screen, don't click on any of the Betty Page stuff or enlarge any of that. I'll just, just say that that's uh adult content warning when we click on Betty Page stuff as I was scrolling through that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, big time. Like pretty much half those covers are going to be covered up on the shelf of the new comic book shop days or wow. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm uh, doing a quick look at uh, Red Sonia to see if there's any uh, bad ones in Red Sonia too. But um, yeah, okay. Uh, I can go next if you want. Sure. All right. Uh, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, oh. number thirty-seven. Yes. Uh, let me the share Kyle my screen book? here. Yeah, I'll share. Kyle New covers freaking fantastic. That's exactly what I'm talking about, man. It is so good. It's one of the best so good. one of the best covers I've seen in a long time with this new uh um suit, I guess, that Miles is wearing. Do they got wings on them? No, no, those are things following and shooting them. Oh. It's like a machine. But yeah, this is badass. And it's just a, a open order B cover, I think. Right. Really? So, yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, if this was a one in twenty five, it would be next level uh spec value right yeah. this thing would be already a hundred dollar book easy well there's there's talk about this being the volley into i don't know the phrasing multiverse so there's potential that we could see a, a new character i don't know if there's any truth to that though well uh billy is going to be in 38 we know that right do we yeah yeah so uh, 38 is the one a lot of people are specking on. Uh, this was another interesting one. Uh, Evil Ooh. Ernie, uh, issue There's five. There's another good cover for that one as well. Um, is there? Yeah. The, the Arthur Sudum, Sidum, you guys know I love, love hate relationship with this dude. And man, he just keeps putting out cool covers. So kind of interesting. There's like a bat, almost a bat symbol there from Batman. Look at that. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's, uh, alluding. Yeah. Alluding. But um, yeah, that's issue number five, and uh, of course, Evil Ernie number two was one of the best covers uh, in a long time that he did. Also, so yeah. oh wow, that yeah, wow, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. remember yeah. that kid tried to sue for the kid from the Nirvana? Yeah, what a moron. What's that about? Uh, Evil Ernie? You've never right. heard of Evil Ernie? Uh, it's like a demon type thing. It's where Lady Death uh, was created. It's like Howie Mandel from Little Monsters. <laughs> that was such a good movie. Little Monsters. I remember that movie. Yeah, that movie was creepy as, as hell, man. So, yeah, movie. those are mine. That's uh, my my few. Yeah. 
What are you getting tomorrow, Ryan? Yeah. <laughs> Venom. <laughs> <laughs> So there's a second print that's coming out first off. And, you know, I've been really uh, driving these uh, second prints up because there's not really not many places that have been getting them, to be honest with you. Um, and then they have the uh, number seven coming out. There's a couple of cool carvers that that one there right there is pretty legit. Wow. The the the, the cover is a little more legit than the story's been. <laughs> yeah, I heard the story hasn't Who's been right? good on Is that this. how Ewing writing it? Yeah, uh, Ram B, right? Ram B. That's that's um I love Ram B, but I haven't been reading this book. You haven't? Mm -mm. It's been it's his uh, it's been tough. Man, that's terrible it's, Del Otto right there. That is not good that's, Del Otto. That's, you know what that is? Remember yes. the sad lemon variant? Uh-huh. That's, that's like a splash some paint over my sad lemon. <laughs> Cover. Yes. Well, I yeah. think the auto, at least it's not the same. At least he's not hanging off a, a side of a church because that's about all the only the only uh thing he's been doing is just putting all these guys on the side of a church or on the top of a roof of a church or something. It seems like most of the most of the covers seem like they're all they look a lot of the same. That and cover looks like crap that'll be put on a trading card and be worth like two hundred dollars. So what is that one? That must be the one in twenty five, maybe. How, can you tell if it's a one in twenty five? I don't know, it doesn't say if you hover over it, it'll tell you if it's a ratio variant or if it's um. There you go, main cover, wood spider, something Del Auto, the little black box that pops up. So what does it say for this one? Mang Magno variant is what it says. Huh, Magno variant. I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's not Carlos and Magno. And then there is a there is a second print coming out too tomorrow for number five. Um, so that will be. Man, I hope this thing starts taking off. I really, I really do because. Tough read, kind of till this point. Uh, number numero five, not those. I don't know what those. That's like some. Oh, it's on right there, right there. The mouth, yeah. Oh, that's mm -hmm. interesting. What the hell? Look, it reminds me of the Tyler Kirkham. Uh -huh. That's off a panel. That's a panel from inside the story. Yeah, you're a panel. You're a story. <laughs> you're All right. Something. <laughs> Panel story. What are you going for, Brian? Um, I had Miles Morales was my big one. Um, Seven Secrets number sixteen. That's my pickup, go to read. Um, love Tom Taylor's writing on that book. It's I, I believe it's getting ready to come to an end here soon. But continue to pick those up. I, I pick up the floppies. I also I've been picking up the trades between Seven Secrets and Once in Future are two series that I just don't think get the love that they should. Yeah, but um. And then, if you're an Omnibus fan, Moon Knight is so big right now. There's a David Finch and a Bill Sienkiewicz. Moon, like two Kevich. different Omnibus. Kevich. Moon Knight Omnibus coming out tomorrow. Omnibuy, is that what you call it? Mm -hmm. more than... I imagine. We'll, we'll, but, we'll, we'll need to ask Jim Mint. Yeah. Hey, uh, McClay, go to Star Wars 22 really quick. There's another Sprouse variant coming out that I thought looked really good. <clears throat> Well, it's, that's curious. not even the best cover of Star Wars 22. No, it's it's not. But the Sprouse variants have been getting more and more attention recently. That, this, yeah. right, this one right here, the Raza variant, is the cover. That one's gorgeous. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's like Fabio. Forgot it's amazing, that. dude. That is awesome. <laughs> but if you, look, if you look at the Sprouse variant, um, I don't know how many comic book covers are out there with Ray and... Uh, Kylo. This is the last Sp Sprouse's fiftieth variant, too. Is it really? Yeah, he's going to be going to doing the one in twenty fives, uh, or the one in fifties. One of the two. So I don't know how many they've been doing a lot of combos in here that were like first, like first or not. There, it's not often that you get like Ahsoka and Anakin, and then Ray and uh, Kylo yeah. Ren. You don't you don't get them on uh, covers like this very often. It seems like. Majority of these Sprouse variants I like is about as much as I like the Mike McCone headshot variants. I agree. I don't like the Sprouse variants. I just think, I don't know. Some of them I like, the, the nostalgia value. The one that got hot was cool, but I, I didn't I didn't buy any. <laughs> Burned your hands. Oh, man, what a bummer of a, of, of a variant <laughs> this is. Yeah. Dude, that's that's. Freaking... I wonder, 
I wonder that's, if this is like uh, this is John Tyler Christopher right here. Yeah, that's going after completionists right there. Yeah, that's just yeah, like, I, just I, throw I, some dude on it. Yeah, I'm gonna make a bunch of sound effects for him. It'd be hilarious. Yeah. I think that might be uh, John Tyler Christopher. It looks like it because he does or all that. Somebody, I bet that would be a perfect. That would be a perfect thing to do is to put your face on or put somebody's face on this, like. As a tribute, <laughs> and, and that's the first comic man any cover appearance minus the beard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but there's gonna be some completionists out there. It's like I got all of them except for Rebel Commando. <laughs> yeah, that damn Rebel Commando. But, so yeah. The only well, other one I had, um, Black Caravan's been doing some great horror books, Scout Comics. Uh, they got Vanity Number Ones coming out tomorrow. That kind of like Mercy Sparks. You got a little. Uh, uh, devil demon but it's like it's kind of like it seems like it's memento style where you start at the end and then it tells the story but and of course people it's there's a cover a that's negative space and then there's a one in ten for it oh yeah what I can you pronounce that for me, Andy? I don't know what that says. What's that name? What is this? I don't get it. I don't know. Awesome salad. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a. Child. How do you pronounce that, uh, Andy? <laughs> yeah. I'm a child. I don't get it. What is it? Yeah, maturity is not. Yeah, a prerequisite for this show. Yeah, but yeah, that's our new comic book day picks for tomorrow. Let us know what you guys are picking up. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta, I gotta unhide. We are venoms. 